What's up everyone, my name is Nightrow and today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, it's been since December since I made an, an, another unboxing, even though originally I was making a, making a, like a two unboxing video but the other, vi the other unboxing that I was gonna do uh, ended up badly the other but I was planning on making this like a four things unboxing thing but like I said the fourth thing was ruined well not actually ruined Still right inside the box, but I made a mistake. I took it out of the box and it fell from my shelf and it broke. But I managed to fix it with a super glue. But whatever, I got three new things to unbox. Even though, in the screen, if you can see, the big box over there is a is a shoe box, which is a collector's van shoe thing. I decided I decided, I decided to put it for this video because I wanted to. But I'm gonna leave it for the last. So today I have two new vanilla um, Funko figures from My Little Pony. I got this as a birthday present from my cousin, and it's super cool. I don't know if you can see it since, uh, since I don't have no one to get the camera for me. But whatever. I got the cheese sandwich here, and they're in due. I still haven't unboxed it yet because I still have no other no, no idea where to put it. But I wanna still unbox to see how it looks on, on the outside. And it's a good thing it doesn't have any tape on it. Because that will make my, my life a lot easier. <laughs> I am liking this a lot. The, the the way the figure looks it's really good. Even though sometimes the molds of the figures has like a little bit of a crack right here. You can see it. There's like a small crack on the tail. I don't know why that always happens. But the the freaking figure itself is really cool. Because nowadays in where I live they don't sell that many my little pony figures on hot topic because it stopped selling and they were sold out so I don't know where my cousin got this even though it says right there in the box that it's a topic exclusive but he managed to get one for me for my birthday which was yesterday and I'm super happy I got a cheese sandwich and they're in due so let's get on with the other unboxing let me put this over here and let's start unboxing there in due even though the box is a little bit like broken but it's still, the figure itself is still in good condition and I still love the art for for the box itself I just wish I had a, a shelf to put all my figures on ok this one is a bit there we go I got the figure out and here is the ring loop and also I really like that way they made the entering do for for because of the tail. It's like it's look, it looks it looks really cool in my opinion. It has everything, and also has that little crack on the tail too. I'm not sure why some of the figure has it. Uh, it's right here. And sorry about my nails. They keep growing really long. I don't know why. But still, the figure is freaking cool. I really love it. <laughs> the ring do looks so cute. The same thing goes for for cheese sandwich. Even though there's a bit of another cracky, but that's only like in the paint. But whatever, it's still a really good figure. I really love it. It was also part of my my gift from for my birthday. And now, for the last part of the unboxing video, which is the Vans collector shoes. Let me put these two over here. I hope they don't fall like that one that happened to Miku. Yes, I did bought a pop a pop figure the a pop figure of Funko, whatever. And here are the shoes, and, and they're they're freaking cool. Even though I already opened them because I wanted to wear them really quick, but they're freaking cool. And plus, there's not that many diamond that dirty because I don't remember where and when I used it though. But still, they're freaking cool. Because originally I was planning on buying the the Legend of Zelda version, but they didn't have it. They only had this one, the. The NES controller, the Duck Kong, Donkey Kong, but then you have the Zelda one, all the Mario bosses one. 
which I also liked a lot. I, I like the, the, the shoes there. But I ended up getting this because it's been a long time and I really love the colors. Super cool. Super cool. But anyway, that's it for my unboxing video. It's been a long time since I made an unboxing. But just let's just show the other figure that I got here. Still inside the box though. And here is the fourth figure that was a um, pen on doing for the unboxing, but I decided to leave it, leave it in, inside because of reasons. Let me just take it out so just so you guys can see it. This is like the Crystal Miku. The Crystal Funko Miku. I have to be careful with this one because I don't want it to fall again. I, I, I got scared the last time it fell. But I don't know if you guys can see it clearly. This is a Crystal Miku. I bought it uh, and along with with my shoes when I went to the mall and when I got her I put it on top of my shelf by me being an, an idiot he ended up falling and her ponytails like um, broke off from the head but I managed to fix it with hot, um, not hot glue gun, super glue and it worked fairly well it, it can still stand on its own but I'm gonna leave it on, on side, inside the box because I don't want to risk another breaking, another Funko breaking apart. But still, I managed to fix. I'm super happy. I love the figure, and I love the glitter that has on it. It's a little crystal. -y. But let us let put it back on the box. I don't want to risk it. But man, it's been a long time since I made a video like this. You go back inside, Miku. Because when I saw. <laughs> And I did it fell off the like, Oh no, Miku, why are you broke? How can I fix you now? But then my dad suggested you super glue. You super glue. Well, but he, he didn't actually say that, but he said to use super glue. But well, we didn't have any, so I had to wait a couple of days for my dad to buy it. And I managed to fix it, but at the same time, I got like super glue on my fingers and I didn't know how to take it off, so I had to like peel it off like really hard and hope that it doesn't make me bleed. And I did not knew that if I use water and hot water on my fingers with the super glue is, it would come out a lot easier, but I ended up doing the hard way, unfortunately. My least is fixed. I'm super happy with it though. So yeah, that's it for the unboxing video. I'll put the Mickey figure back where it was. So originally I was thinking of putting my figure, let me pick up the camera. If you can see that's where my I used to have there my Ninja Gaiden figure, the statue from the collector's edition, but I put it over in my, my other shelf because it'll make a lot more space than for my other shelf. And I did have more space there, huh? But now there's less for the other ones. I put there my my, my little pony Funko figures, and here is where I put the other ones. You can see a bunch of them right here. Some of them from cheap, uh, from when I went to the anime conventions. Some were gifts. Some were I bought it on on what? Where was it? On GameStop and Toys R Us too. So yeah, that's that's there's the Miku. I put it there. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video because it's been a long time since I made, since I made a unboxing figure and. <laughs> Why am I pointing to the to my mess over there? I mean, this is where I even made my recordings for and console gameplays, but there's a lot of there's a huge mess. I really had to organize my stuff in my room there. But that's it for my video, and guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I I had a lot of fun making this video because it's been a long time. So guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next unboxing video. Peace. Dance. What do you do? Can I use it to call the police? It also will also be boring to just stand here and keep a fight until things calm down. I have a lot of room in my mind. Link.